Hey, don't worry, I got you covered. I brought some for you guys. <laughs> I said reading over a wood fire too. Right? The full flood potential of the turkey. Good morning, guys. Today we are out on the trout stream. Um, we came to a stock stream close to home, and we hiked down, hiked down the stream probably about a mile. They definitely don't stock down here, but we decided we were going to come down, make a fire, and just kind of enjoy opening morning. This is what it's all about. And if you're from Pennsylvania. Um, opening day is kind of like a opening day for hunting season. Friends kind of get together and just enjoy some time on the stream. Get together, come out, catch some trout. So that's what we're doing today. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Dude, he gives it. Dude, go up and grab one. While the warm coffee's heating up, we decided to drink some cold coffee. We decided to hike way down, um, way down into the, sh the, the stream here, and they definitely don't stalk down this far, but we figured that holdovers would have came down, came down the stream, because um, <clears throat> they stalk above here, and they actually stalk below here, so we figured, uh, figured you know, you should get a chance at some holdover fish down in here. So that's what we're gonna that's what we're gonna aim for, and hopefully we pick up a couple along the way. You can see I got a really, really big, deep, slow pull here behind me. So this is gonna be a good starting point, and we'll give it our best shot. I don't know, don't know what we'll find. Joel and I have fished this stream in the past, and we've caught native brook trout in here too. So we're hoping either for a bunch of native brookies or some holdover stockfish. I mean, his fin, it's so shallow, his fin's actually coming out of the water sometimes. I wonder if he even made it. I don't know. Let me see. Like, see here we got some slabs off of him. All right, now tell us the, tell us the, uh, the truth behind the Palomino. <laughs> what truth? <laughs> you know. <laughs> tell us the truth. The truth that I caught with my bare hands. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that one. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Joel always likes to, to come prepared to the stream. We call him Guide Joel. So he hooked us up with some breakfast burritos this morning and some percolated coffee. He knows he knows how to do it. Cheers, bro, amigos. <laughs> On the first day of trout season, you have to wait till eight o'clock to start fishing. So, just turned eight o'clock, and we're out on the stream. It's about 25 degrees this morning. Beautiful day.
Morning guys. As you can probably tell, it is not opening day anymore. Um, opening day didn't go quite as planned. We uh, missed a few fish and had fun, some good laughs, but uh, pretty much resulted with no, no fish. We did take the kids out in the evening and caught a couple, so that was good. Um, but Joel and I were back out here today after some, some brook trout, and we're working up a native stream right now. Gonna see what we can get into here. Um, I fished this stream last year, right around the same time, and caught some really, really nice brook trout. So hopefully we can get into a few fish here, and then we might try out another stream if we have enough time. And we'll see what the day brings.
There has to be a fish in here feeding me. Later, buddy. Another brookie. <laughs> that one definitely wasn't a little brookie down there. <laughs> New way. I'll let you have the big run up there, baby. <laughs> Get that old 18 inch. We just switched streams, um, and it seems like it's pretty hot so far. We fished two runs, and Jules caught, what, three fish now? Three fish, had two, two other bites, and uh, we're gonna work our way up through here for a few more hours until we gotta get going. So far, we're off to a pretty good start. Working our way up on up, up the stream here, picking up some little log browns, and we've been noticing these little little tiny hits. And uh, 
finally I had one in this run right here behind me. And sure enough, these little native rookies just hit completely different than them browns are. Those browns, the browns are just crushing it. You, when they hit it with that with that OPST line, you just feel it as soon as as soon as it hits the water, and you, they slam it. And then these little brookies just feel a little, like almost like you're going across the bottom. But that's why it's so important to always set the hook, even if you think it's even if you think it's the bottom. All right, guys, that's a wrap on the video. Uh, sorry for jumping around a little bit from opening day to today, but. We had fun, caught some fish, and that's what it's all about. Hanging out with good friends and just enjoying time on the water. So thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for watching.